I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with the dystopian movie era that plagued the mid to the late 2010s, like Alita, Blade Runner 2049, and the Planet of the Apes franchise. Well, the Divergent series was a part of that movement. Three movies were produced, but we never got a proper ending to the franchise, which is what we're going to be discussing in this video. Before we get into all that, this video will have spoilers, so if you haven't seen the Divergent series, turn the video down keep the video up and go watch them. I need the views. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to Dauntless. Divergent is what I like to call the middle child of the 2010 dystopian movie era. Due to it being a franchise, it was competing with the likes of Hunger Games and the Maze Runner. Imagine choosing players for a pickup game of basketball at the park. The Divergent series is the guy that was picked last, and even then they would have rather played 5 on 4. Not saying that the films were bad, but you'd rather watch Hunger Games than Divergent. I personally enjoyed the Divergent series, but I'm not surprised that it didn't get a fourth movie either. I'll be damned. What? She's what we've been looking for. Bullshit. In a post-apocalyptic Chicago, the city is divided into factions. Abnegation, the selfless faction in charge of politics and laws. Amity, the peaceful faction to which they are in tune with nature and they farm the land. Candor, the honest faction who upholds the laws and serves as Chicago's court system. Dauntless is the brave faction. They're the soldiers, police, etc. They protect the city. And then there's Erudite, the intelligent faction, who are like doctors, scientists, and engineers that develop technology to help push the city forward. Trish is part of Abnegation, and she finds out that she's divergent which is a person who has the capabilities and characteristics to fit into all the factions. Divergents are viewed as uncontrollable by the government and are usually killed. Like everyone else, when she becomes of age, she goes through a placement test to see which faction she fits best with. This is when she finds out she's divergent. She eventually decides to leave Abnegation and join Dauntless, where she starts her journey to uncover secrets and lies about the world she lives in. You think that human nature is a weakness? I think human nature is the enemy. I think the problem with this franchise begins with Triss's character. Don't get me wrong, Triss is a good character, but I don't think she was developed properly. She learned skills along the way such as combat and war tactics, so there was progression, but it seemed as if she purposely didn't learn from any of her experiences. She was extremely gullible. For example, she met Peter in Dauntless Training. He was a dick from the moment he entered her life. This man has kicked her ass a few times, he tried to kill her, he even double crossed her on multiple occasions, yet still somehow she felt the need to keep him around. During Insurgent, the second movie, when they were hiding out from Dauntless in the Amity faction, this motherfucker gives up their location even though he's on the run with them. Now, later on in the movie, he does help Four and Triss get to this box so they could get to the message inside it. But then in Allegiant, the third movie, he double crosses them again by cutting a deal to wipe the memories of the people in the city. And in return, Peter would get a better position at the bureau. This man has consistently expressed that he is all for himself, yet Triss allows him to linger around without killing him, even when she's had the chance to. Look, I can join you guys, or I could yell, HELP! Triss is terrible at reading people. She trusts anyone and everyone around her. I understand that she was in a faction that prided themselves on helping others and seeing the best in people. But at the same time, you have to use a little common sense along with some survival skills. The fact that she instantly puts all her trust in David, the man who was responsible for the way Chicago has been ran over the years, tells me a lot. All because he fed her some fairy tale dream and showed her a piece of her mother's past life through a VR headset. When Four warned her about David's true intentions and even told her that they kidnapped children and wiped their memories, she didn't believe him. She and Four have been through so much together just for her to all of a sudden not trust his judgment or take his word. She was moving backwards as a character. I never should have trusted you. 
You want change with no sacrifice. The third film, Allegiant, sealed the fate for this franchise. There was a lot of unnecessary backtracks, both character-wise and in the story, such as Peter's character arc. In the second movie, Peter has a change of heart when he finds out that Tris opted not to kill him while she was in a simulation that would open the box. He realized that after all the evil things he's done to Tris, she will still spare his life in the end. This was literally a defining moment in his character arc just for him to double cross her in the third movie. Or how about Ford's mom Evelyn, who was the leader of the factionless, the people with no faction. She's the new leader of Chicago in Allegiant. I don't really know her official title, but now she's running things after she killed Janine. She's basically committing the same actions as the person she despised, killing people in mass, starting a civil war, not listening to reasons beyond her own scope. We literally sat through two movies movies of bad leadership from her just for us to sit through it again for a third time with her. Oh, hold on, I just escaped from Chicago. Now you're saying I gotta sit here and watch it for the rest of my life? Also, Tris was a lot less proactive in Allegiant. In Divergent and Insurgent, she was wholeheartedly taking initiative and making sacrifices. She was volunteering to jump off buildings. She surrendered to erudite so no more innocent people could get killed. She was ready to put herself in harm's way if it meant that she could save a single life. Most of her time in the third movie was spent following David around believing his lies. Four remained dominant and assertive in all three movies. That wasn't the case for Triss. Triss, I control everything. I can even seal the room you're in right now. Just stop fighting. Allegiant jumped back and forth between the war in Chicago and feeding us information about how the Bureau works in relation to the rest of the world. It felt as if everything we learned from the Bureau was to set up the final film instead of focusing on the current one. They were only there to be a common enemy to Evelyn and Johanna's armies. The Bureau had the longest introduction known to mankind. Most of the time spent in there was like a tour attached to a history lesson. By the time their true intentions were revealed, the damn movie had about 20 minutes left in it. The war in Chicago felt like an afterthought and a primary concern at the same time. All that we were left with was an alliance and a bunch of open promises that didn't get fulfilled. You saved a city. Help me save the world. One thing I didn't appreciate from the franchise is how they prioritize her mother's death over her father's, although they died about 20 minutes apart from each other. And her father went out like a G. She didn't even cry for him like she did for her. They didn't really acknowledge his sacrifice or death. Like it was just something that happened and they moved on. I just found that pretty weird. Oh, okay, guys, come on, let's go, seriously. We can do that later. Overall, the Divergent franchise couldn't finish the last leg of the race. This third movie didn't hold up its end of the deal. With the regression of characters and their decision making, some bad visual effects and set designs, and preparing for a sequel while barely giving us a great story, the next installment didn't stand a chance. I hate when a series doesn't get a proper ending. It's a disservice to the fans and filmmakers because all we're left with is a cliffhanger and books to read if we're fortunate enough to have those. It's been almost 10 years since the final film came out. There was talks of a TV series after the fourth film was canned, but due to apparent lack of interest by audience and executives, we won't get that either. Hopefully we can get a fourth movie or a TV show so we can close the chapter on this story cinematically. With that being said, let me know in the comments section your thoughts from the Divergent series. Do you want a fourth movie or a TV show to close it out? Which of the three movies was your favorite? Also, which faction do you think you fit into? Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out. I'll see you on the next video. Y'all be easy.